Hey guys, um, it's Steven. Uh, so I just wanted to thank you guys for all the subs I've gotten. I'm at 13 now. I wasn't really expecting to get anywhere near, you know, any subscribers. Um, so I just thought I'd make a video about my Frusciante collection for the most part. Um, and also a little bit on, like, myself and where I was planning on going with the channel. Um, so the reason, I, I guess, if any of you have watched my videos or looked in the comments and I've gotten some, like, oh, that's pretty bad or whatever. I know I'm not the best, um, by far. Uh, the reason I do my videos is mostly to get over, like, the fear of my cam of, like, cameras and stage fright and stuff like that. So that's the main reason I'm doing the covers. Um, I've been playing guitar for a little over, probably my third year now. I didn't really start taking it serious until my second year of playing. Um, so I guess I'll start with like uh, how I really got into Frusciante. Me and my friends were sitting in a, my in their basement. We were playing video games, and then all of a sudden, I think it was either Untitled 2 or Untitled 3 came on, and I was like, "What is this?" And I loved it, and that was also right around the time I started learning about the Chili Peppers too with uh, Californication. That was the song that really got me wanting to start to play guitar. And um, so, anyways, um, from there I just started pursuing listening to John, and I really liked it. And uh, the first album I got was The Will to Death, and that just totally changed how I thought about music, and nothing besides John and the Chili's have wowed me since. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just start with the collection now. So, this is my Neanderlides CD. It's still sealed. Um, I guess I'll just go over how I got these all, too. This I got off of Amazon, I believe, and I was just expecting to get one of the reissued ones. Well, they ended up sending me an original, I guess, the uh, original CD version. Um, so, that this is one of my favorite pieces of my collection. It's just the fact that it's sealed makes it really cool. Um, oops, sorry about that. Uh, this is my Smile from the Streets You Hold album, and I guess these are pretty rare. I got it on, this one I know I got on eBay. It was $40. It's still sealed. I got it from a guy in France or something, so I, I don't know. I thought that was really cool. Um, great album. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, a lot of my collection is still sealed. This one isn't. Uh, this I got on Amazon used, and I think it may be a promotional copy. Uh, it says, for promotional use only, sale or other transfer is prohibited, must be returned on demand of recording company. Sorry, that was hard to read. I was reading it through the camera. Um, so I guess this was one of the first albums made for of this album and sent to recording stores or, so, uh, or record stores. I don't know. Um, oh, I was going to go over the songs that were probably my favorites on each one. My favorite album, or my favorite song on this album is definitely Wind Up Space. That song is just fantastic. Um, off of Smile from the Streets You Hold, uh, that's tough. They're all really great. Probably uh, For Air. I just love that instrumental. It's so, so awesome. And then with Neander Ledes, off that part of the album, definitely My Smile is a Rifle, and right behind that is Running Away Into You, and then on the Untitled, it's by far Untitled 12, I absolutely love that song, it gives me goosebumps every time I listen to it. Um, so, then I got Shadows Collide with People, I got this off of Amazon also, I believe, I got almost all of my collection off of Amazon, so I don't know if they still have a lot on there, but it's, it, it's definitely pays off to look around for it. Um, my favorite song on this one is probably This Cold. That's that's a really great song. Um, and, yeah, this is an album that got me all into Frusciante. As you can see, it's got some wear on it. But uh, probably my favorite song on this one is The Days Have Turned. I absolutely love this album. And uh, this is the album I showed a lot of my friends if I'm trying to get them into Frusciante. And usually they uh, they end up digging it. Um, this is, uh, A Sphere in the Heart of Silence. This one is sealed. I, uh, really haven't gotten to listen to this one much. I didn't get it, I, I got it not too long ago, but, uh, so I, I really do have to listen to this and decide which one is my favorite. So, I guess in the comments, if you want to leave a suggestion as to what song I should listen to first or something, go ahead. Um, 
Ataxia AW2. Once again, this is sealed and I haven't really gotten to listen to it much. But, uh, yeah. The DC EP, this, this is a really cool album cover, I thought. Or EP cover. Um, once again, this one's sealed too. A lot of the sealed ones I have not been able to listen to or I haven't, just haven't taken the time to look up on YouTube. Automatic writing, this is also sealed. Um, yeah. And curtains, I got this one on Amazon also. I got a lot of, like I said, I got almost all of these on Amazon. My favorite one on this one is probably the Pastor Seeds. Um, yeah, I got almost all of these CDs for about $10 each. So I, I put a lot of money into it. Uh, inside of Emptiness, this is sealed. I have listened to this one a lot. Um, my favorite song on here is either A Firm Kick or What I Saw. Those are two really cool songs. Uh, the Empyron. Great, I love John down there. It's pretty sweet. Um, I think my favorite song on here is either Central or... Uh, oh, I can't think of the one song, but it's the one where he's got a... He goes in with kind of deeper voice and uh, the violins and stuff. I can't think of the name of it offhand. Um, really cool album. A lot of people like this one, I guess. And uh, some of his newer stuff, the PBX, Funkular, Intelligent... Gia Zone, whatever, I don't know, I've never really taken the time to try to pronounce that, but uh, Radiog is probably my favorite one on this. Uh, Letter Leffer, that's a pretty cool one, too. Or album cover-wise, I think, you know, it's, it's out there. Um, I don't remember which one I really liked on here. It was one of them, but once again, I, they kind of mixed together after a while. And this one I just got, my dad got it for me for my birthday not too long ago, so I hope to get his new album. I haven't, still haven't listened to this one, which is kind of unfortunate, but, um, yeah, I plan on getting his new album pretty soon, whenever it comes out. Um, so, anyways, uh, it really helps me out when you guys do requests on my videos and stuff that lets me know what you guys want and what kind of stuff I should be focusing on. Also, if I haven't learned the song, it gives me a chance to learn more Frusciante stuff, which I really enjoy. Um, David Gold something, I, I sorry, I can't remember your YouTube name. If you hadn't requested for air, I wouldn't have learned it. I always wanted to learn it, I just never took the time really. It didn't sound right, so I started messing with the tuning, found out it's kind of out of tune started working on it and I just that's one of my favorite songs to play now so thank you for requesting that that's really helped me out and I hope you guys liked the video um one more thing to more chili peppers is that something you guys want I I don't know um when I did my under the bridge thing that was just kind of like a demo to see what YouTube would think and I know there's like a million chili pepper covers out there but their stuff is fun to play so um that one got a lot of dislikes I thought it was decent Aside from the intro, um, I know I used a lot of chorus and the outro with my pedals and stuff. Um, that's something I hope it to also. But, um, yeah, I don't know. So just let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I know I'm not the best, but I do a lot better when I'm not around a camera or around a lot of other people. Um, so another thing I was wondering, um, if, I did, if I did do more Chili Peppers and stuff like that, it would also allow me to use more of my guitars. And between me and my dad, we have about 35 guitars. So for any of you guitar freaks out there, you know, gear guys, that would probably be cool for you. I could go over some of that stuff, whatever. Uh, and pedals, anybody who's thinking about buying a pedal, I do have quite a few pedals between me and my dad. We have a lot of Boss pedals. Um, I have the Line 6 pedal that John uses for throw away your television. You know, I can look into stuff like that, you know, whatever. Um, so that's, that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, give me some requests or ideas as to what you think, so.